Uh, I'll just be a set. I'm just having a slight nightmare trying to get this working. Wouldn't be like me if I wasn't having issues. <laughs> come on, Dash, come on. I never have a problem with a Dash. I think it's generally froze, it has. But okay. On the plus side, I can refresh my chat while I'm here. Right, I'll tell you what, we'll just have, we'll just have this gone. Alright, where's the dash? Sim Hub has died. Still not gone. There we go. Get away. Excellent. Start again. Right, how much is, how much is it going? <laughs> How's it going? Hey, little legs, how are you doing? What are you doing, alright? I've removed the windsock as well off my mic, so I'll see if that uh, makes a difference or not. Hey, Mr. Mr. Firefight. Sorry, I'm just having a slight mare with my dash worn open. Ah, there she is, there she is. Come on, stop being slow. I was ready and it died. Come on. It's gonna die again, isn't it? I just wanna load up a dashboard. That's all I wanna do. Yes, we're on. Excellent, right, we've got a load. I'm in my uh, I'm in my Volvo at the moment. We've got a digger that we are currently taking to, where are we off to? Uh, Salzburg is where we're off to, so yeah, hopefully you can hear me okay. Let me know, I can change my mic over and that if need be. But we should be alright, we should be alright. Love, love my setup, thanks buddy, it, uh, it is a bit of a pride and joy and uh, yeah, couldn't have done it on my own, I'll tell you that, but yeah, very, very lucky. Extremely lucky. Ah, oh, it's me. Uh, it's it's the. I've got LEDs under here. You see. You'll be able to probably. You'll be able to see better if I change my light to red. Or, you know, green or something. But I always just run them on white, so. Hey, I'm here. How's it going? Morning, morning. Yeah, let us know if I can. There's loads of room on my mic to turn it up if need be, but it looks like it's not clipping or anything, so. night for you yeah how are you doing buddy all right want to get one for my son ah yeah it's a it, it's a bit of a pride and joy it's something that you build over time you know so you couldn't just build one straight away you've got to build it over time like definitely sorry I was just turning my mic up a little bit I need, on the night time, I need to be like not shouting, you know. <laughs> Alright, finally got time to watch a live stream. Awesome, pal. Awesome. What oh, a nice bridge, man. How are you keeping little legs anyway? Not too bad, I hope. Hey Darren, how you doing buddy? I can watch until my break's over. Yeah, got you there mate, got you there. 
Got a steering wheel there. This is a Fnatic Club Sport V2.5. Indeed. Uh, balsamic, we are moving a digger, mate, yeah. Yeah, uh, we've got a big digger on the back. An excavator to Salzburg, so... It's not too bad. I, I've not got a massive engine in this truck, to be honest, so... Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's not too bad. She's pulling all right. Hey, Mr. Dean, it's my favourite wheel of yours. Awesome, buddy. Please, you doing all right? I spotted you in rib shot earlier. Like, I just, I literally just came in the stream as he said he'd fallen out with someone. I was like, oh, who's he fallen out with? What's the crap? Doing good, mate. Yeah, really good. Yeah, it's going alright, mate. Yeah, going alright. Right, motorsport, first time uh, in Love Your Setup. Cheers, pal. Much appreciated. Yeah, just start, I'm just waiting for a few bits for this setup. And then we're going to pull it all apart and uh, give it a bit of a freshen up and a bit of a uh, clean up with all the cables and all that. Now I know where everything's going to be living. Now everything's ready, you know, this is it now, so. Yeah, me and Emma are doing really good, mate. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah, thanks for thanks for asking, buddy. Hey, is there anything major you want uh, to do to the rig or just tidy up? Uh, yeah, not nothing like major. So this this handbrake's coming off. I've got a new one to go on. This button box is coming off, I've got a new button box. Uh, and then all this here is going to get moved forward. I've uh, got a new sequential shifter to go on. Uh, and then basically just then a clean up really, just a full tidy up. So literally behind here is just an, behind there is just an absolute mess. So I just did the other rig the other day and it looks superb. It looks so nice. So clean. I gotta go. Okay, Darren, yeah, you have a good one, buddy. Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's a Volvo open pipe. Yeah. Yeah, it does sound nice. How are you doing tonight, firefighter? Anyway, all right. Ah, got you, mate. <laughs> oh, like, oh, I know, I felt, I know he'd, he's had a couple of trolls in over there, so when he said he's fallen out with a mod or something, I thought, I hope he's not fallen out with one of my mods. I'll tell you what, whatever I've done with the lighting today, well, I haven't done anything, but the GoPro and that today, just it just looks absolutely stunning. Uh, 
Alright, we're good for fuel. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good for fuel. We're good for fuel. Right, uh, where else are we? A change from Monster. Yeah, it just got too expensive. <laughs> That's all. Oh, I agree, uh, Dean. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's the... Uh, can you hear me okay, mic and everything? It's not like clipping or I'm not I'm not sounding too loud. That's another thing I want to do next is uh, sort the echo out. Now I've got good mics, sort the echo out in here. Cause I've just got wood floor and that and then I've just got a completely empty ceiling so I'm going to go form. We're going to go the sound form. Sound is fine. Cheers mate. Cheers. Ah. I keep thinking I need to shout, and I think I just generally need to talk a bit quieter. <laughs> hey, Mr. Rob, how's it going, pal? Yeah, super chilled out today. I got myself really frustrated with the uh, racing because I just I couldn't work out what it was, <laughs> what, the, what the problem was, you know. Oh, spot on, mate. Yeah, spot on. Yeah, absolutely spot on. Right, where else are we? Hey, Lee Quinn, how are we doing? Loads of people just dived in there. I've missed a load of chat. She's quiet today, man. Six pound a day, Jesus. Yeah, I read that a little length. Yeah, I read that. I did answer you, buddy. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, we do. Balsamic, you're right. Ah, it's not a bad thing, I suppose, getting off monster. I don't haven't had a monster in about two weeks, I don't think. Well, the last time was when Sam brought us one. Right, if you can. Uh, Check your messenger. What can I do it on stream or not? Ah, Rob, that was you that was building the wooden rig then. Nice. Ah, good man. Yeah, I was actually following that. Yeah, I was following that. I can't really on my phone because I've got music playing. <laughs> so, I've got a wireless earphone in. Yeah, for anyone that was watching the racing streams, does my mic sound any different with this off? I, I took it off just to see because I'm not in any wind or anything, so it might be better with it off, I don't know. Oh, we need to come off here, don't we? Jesus bollocks. Ah, good. So, yeah, that's fine, as long as it's not quiet or out like that, you know. <laughs> Lewis, I know. Need politics, mate, need politics. Uh, I've got my wife's playlist on, so there's bloody all sorts on here. Absolutely all sorts. Quite a fan of Foo Fighters myself. <laughs> Listen to MC, I know. We've got the Emma stream coming up this weekend. Oh, could be a big one. I want to definitely want to get three or four jobs done tonight if I can. I'm, I'm slacking a bit on the miles at the minute. All the racing that I've been doing, you know. <laughs> Metallica, yeah, I like Metallica. I like ACDC. Yeah, that's true, little legs, you're right there. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm possibly going out with Glenn tomorrow in his truck, so I'm really hoping that we can. He's going to let us know, so... I also did a boo-boo. <laughs> I, I might be better off showing you what I did, but... Alright, what truck does Glenn drive? A Mercedes, man. He said I can put a, 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 a Scania sticker on it, like. Well, I did something. <laughs> so I was talking to Emma about uh, there's a bit of money left over in the PayPal from uh, us being on the other day when we got the mics and you know all that. So she said, "Oh, why don't you sort?" She was the one that suggested starting with the ceiling. I was like, "Ah, actually, yeah, I might do that." She went on eBay looking, and I, I had about. 50 quid I think, 50, so it was something like that. It wasn't even enough to get two, like two packs of tiles. I need 40 to do the ceiling. And I didn't even have enough to buy 20. So I was like, oh, good. Anyway, so I thought, right, I'll just wait, I'll save up, you know, it's 50 quid towards, you know, towards getting them. And then I bought a wheel. <laughs> so we've got a new wheel coming. Because that's just what I need, like. Right, there's a Peterbilt pulling up near my house. Oh, nice, mate. Nice. I don't think I've been out this way on Pro Mods. It all looks a bit new. Right, currently sending evidence to Emma. <laughs> Well, I did tell her how much the ceiling was going to cost to do, and she was like, that's not too bad, but I mean, it's a lot, like, <laughs> I might have done. <laughs> well, it was between that and the dashboard, a twin cam told me not to buy the dashboard, so I didn't. So, te technically. <laughs> no, we, Emma doesn't. She's not bothered, like, she prefers anything that comes in like that to just go towards the room and all that. We know different than me having a car in the garage that I'm spending the money on every, every week, you know. Right, I saw a real scan your tea. Uh, Oh, nice, mate. I, I've, I have seen one, but not uh, not on the road, like. Why don't you just buy a truck? Because I, I can't drive a truck. I'm uh, banned from driving for medical reasons. So, it'd be pointless. <laughs> well, balsamic, to be fair, I'm not decorating it. I'm going to fill it with sound foam uh, for to take away the echo because I've got a wood floor but it's like 120 quid to do the ceiling so I will do it because I, I do want to get rid of the echo especially when there's two people in here that's kind of that and the cupboard behind I still haven't finished the cupboard I've got six spotlights to buy that firefighter got us last year so I've got another six of them that I need to buy they're not bad, like 15 quid. And then some paint and some wood. It's going to look nice when it's finished. That's where my Lego truck's going to go. Still got that to build, man. Can't wait to start that. Right, even if you could drive... Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Completely agree. I know. <laughs> Next year, right? Right, can we get to. Yeah, 
Yeah, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Ah, sideways, how are you doing, buddy? Armstrong haulage in real life. One day. One day. You never know. Hey Arthur, yeah, it's, it's it's a nice wheel. I mean, it's just me drift wheel, you know. So, I just got me handbrake in. Funny enough. What would I do if I didn't have my rig? Game. I'd still be gaming. I don't have head tracking, no. No, I've got a GoPro on my head, but I don't have head tracking. Well, that's true. Yeah, you're right there. No, I completely agree next, yeah. I've always, I've always said the same. Mate. If it, if it, if it came a career without having to make it one, fantastic. You know that just, just be amazing. Absolutely. I might, I might have to start being a bit more professional, like, but <laughs> that'll be the day. To be fair, I am fairly professional, like, but. Just not 100% professional, you know. Absolutely, my dad. My dad's a hundred percent. Yeah, my, my, my dad's a hundred percent professional. One hundred percent. Oh, that's funny, man. Yeah, definitely professional enough. <laughs> you got one hundred and thirty k nearly. Just being yourself, and well, that's true. I tell you what, some nice people in on a night. <laughs> some of the day streams are oh questionable, honestly. Come off, you know, you you come off some days wanting to just throw yourself out the window, and then other days you have, you know, it's uh, yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> Don't you start, man? You know me, mate. Professional. Hey, John, how you doing, buddy? How much did the vape cost? I actually got it sponsored. Uh, I don't know what they actually cost, so... Uh, yeah, I had a good friend send it out for me, which was very, very lucky. There is a link in the description for his vape shop, and if you mention me, you will get 10% off, as far as I know. Right, we will have to put Neil on, of course. What's that? <laughs> yeah, I know. Aye, Forza 7, mate, to be honest, is something that I just haven't played that much, you know. I've got it, I just haven't played it that much. I could do with putting my big lights on, actually. I'm just concentrating on where, where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, you're right there, firefighter. Hey, words, how are you doing, buddy? 
Uh, yes, we've streamed uh, Forza 4 quite a few times, you know. Definitely. Gonna knock him out. <laughs> Yeah, firefighter, you want to see me wheel? I'll show you the wheel. Trying to get like a big picture of it. Ah, here it is. Right, so this is a new wheel. It actually. Let me make sure I'm not coming off of you. Hang on. Yeah, so it's actually uh, all wood. And then it's like polished centre spoke. So hopefully it looks alright. I'm just purely just going to use it for trucking, like. So. Uh, it is retro, yeah, I might use it in old cars and that, you know. Can't get over how well my streams look at the moment. <laughs> it's been worth the chew on. I quite like seeing the walls and that as well. I love this. I know some people aren't keen like, but I love it, man. Can't wait to do my room tour. I'll get the ceiling done and then I'll uh, definitely do that. I like the wood, nice mate, nice. That will look well with the indicator stalk. Oh, I don't know where to put it. I, I'm not even kidding. Like, I, I honestly don't have nowhere to put it. Because my screen sits so close. I can't, it doesn't fit anywhere. I'm thinking of sending it back and getting them to send me one of the single ones and I'll stick it on here. And then I can, you know, I can't reach it from here, but at least I can use it. I'm just not sure. Ah, two mins and you're 18. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, happy 18th, mate. Are you still uh, you're still up for streaming tomorrow, are you? Yeah, looking forward to it, man. So if anyone doesn't know, we're going to be doing a birthday stream for Sam tomorrow uh, at 8 o'clock. Sorry, at 11 o'clock uh, till 1. So should be good. Bit of a convoy and that, you know, so I'm going to advertise it tomorrow. And uh, if anyone wants to buy the ladder painter out like that, anything that gets sent through PayPal on, uh, sorry, Streamlabs, on that stream will go to Sam, so... Uh, is that wheel with the gear shift problem on? Is that the wheel? No, it wasn't a problem with the wheel, that's what I'm saying, it was the game. <laughs> so I had to do a custom profile, it works fine. It wasn't the wheel that was the issue. That's what, no one was actually listening to me. Uh, I mean, my first wheel was second hand, it was like four, five year old as well. So yeah, hopefully uh, I'll get a few lads in tomorrow. Uh, Baron, can I switch it with a Porsche wheel? I can't mate, I haven't got the Porsche wheel with us. 
haven't got it. I haven't got any wheel with me. Uh, I've only got this one, so I would have to stand up and I, 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 I'm all harnessed in and that. I can't be bothered. Oh, honestly, firefighter, man. I know. It's just with the way my setups are, that's all. Yeah, happy birthday, Sam. Yeah, how old are you, Rob? If you don't mind me asking. Ah, uh, 29. Ah, uh, you, you're only, what, you're only a few months older than me then. I mean, I'm 28 now, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so make sure, if you can, tomorrow night, come and join the convoy for Sam's birthday. Ah, right, yeah, you're about a year older than me, then. It's weird, because I still feel like I'm, like, 16, you know? <laughs> I'm 50 and I feel 21. Yeah, I know. 22 in March, mate. Bloody hell. Oh, you're right there, firefighter. You are not wrong. I shaved me beard, Emma would divorce me, I think. Right, I need to go and buy a garage. <laughs> yeah, I secretly did not. He's got a rig he can use behind us if he wants. Right, so I need to go and buy the garage. Hi AEW, how are you doing buddy? Yeah, give your shift the links in the description, buddy. I mean, there's a few of the mod, there's a few people in the chat that have bought the gear shifters because of myself and don't regret it as far as I know. This is my old wheel, this, my drift wheel here. Yeah. I just, uh, I'm testing the hub because I had to send it back to uh, Fnatic to get repaired, so just got it back today, like. I've got a couple of different wheels like this. There's actually a red one that I wanted. It's the same as this, but in red. But, oh, one day. I'm very lucky to have what I've got, I know that. Ah, that's good. That is good. And that's what I say, like, even if money's an issue and people are like, right, well, I've got 45 quid and I can afford, like, a 3D printed one, I'm like, right, we'll save that 45 and put it towards getting an Alma, because you just won't regret it, like. Right, it goes somewhere else. Seeing if it's worth taking another truck out, you know. I 
Ah, uh, go on, we'll take the T cab a run. Big old T cab. Go multiplayer. No, I've got set days that I do multiplayer, buddy. You got ID, bloody hell. Dean. Uh, yeah, possibly tomorrow, Glenn has a real truck, obviously, and he is passing by my house, roughly. So he is going to take me out for a run for about three hours in the truck, uh, if all goes well. So if all goes well, I'm going to... I don't know how we're going to do it yet, whether one of us wears a GoPro on the way up, one wears a GoPro on the way back. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to edit the footage and all that, because I'm just not an editor, like, I just... I know I should and all that, but I just don't enjoy doing it. So I'll probably just uh, just just put it up, you know, raw. I might edit it if need be, but we'll see. And then I might actually do a stream as well in the truck as well, uh, just off my phone if I, if I can, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, right, so truck's ready to go. Alright, so we just need to pick somewhere to actually go. I was working my way down into Greece, wasn't I? Ah, yeah, it was alright, like. I was driving myself around here. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll go to France. Do you the pro mods, man? You get a bit of a load on the screen, like. Right, time to get a job. Yes, Truckbox works with uh, pro mods as well, so. Truckbox is the one, like, it's, uh, it, it is very, very good. Oh, that's a nice run out. Ah, uh, tank isn't that bad. Right, we'll take that. Cool, man. Oh, this thing sounds good. Not actually sure what gearbox this has got in. I'm assuming it's got a 12 and 2 in it, like. that one bit of a big truck for it like but I'm gonna go and chuck a single uh, a smaller axle on the back of this uh, anyway because I want to know what gearbox it's got in it
Hey, hey, Averis, how are you doing? Uh, subscription from me, greetings from Poland. Thanks, buddy, greatly appreciated. There's some great people in today, I must admit. Hey, Chad, how are you doing, mate? How's life treating you, buddy? All right, we're in Montpellier and we're off somewhere else. I can't remember. <laughs> Up to the red spanner before we do anything, though. We should all go on holiday, I know. Right, it's going to chuck a couple of... Uh couple of changes on this truck and then we'll get away right so I want to make sure she's got a 12 speed box in it it has got a 12 and 2 so I'm gonna go with a 12 fine with that and I'm gonna drop down to a 6 Uh, I don't need tag lift like. Well, Lewis. Nice truck, man. Like it. don't actually remember what I did wheel-wise on this thing. I know I definitely went standard chrome. I went one of them, apparently. Painted wheel nuts, I can imagine. Yep. Nice. What's the rear end on it? Ah, it's still the same. Excellent, let's go. There we go, T cab with the. Uh, it's nice, isn't it? With that tanker on. That tank is nice as well. Excellent, right? On we go. So we'll have a few miles to do. 430 kilometres. So. Excellent. Firefighter, where are you actually staying when you come here? Do you know whereabouts it is? So I'm just thinking if you're not driving, obviously you'll need to get here. I like can using this wheel again. I'm looking forward to get the, uh, the the bigger one on with the chrome spokes. It's going to be nice. The Premier Inn. Ah, so that's the one out near McDonald's, isn't it? That's, is, is that that one or is it the Gretna? You're joking. <laughs> you can actually walk to my house from there, you know. It's like five minutes. <laughs> I can see the Gretna from this window. Do you have legs? No. No. No, I do not. Uh, 
I know, that's why I choose it. Ah, right, okay. Got you, got you. Makes more sense. Right, if I send you my dad's personal truck skin, could you use it on the stream? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. As long as it's for a truck that I've got, yeah. Absolutely, not a problem. I tell you what, I'm in a bloody good mood tonight. I had a right shoe on and project cars as well, but I feel absolutely brilliant now. Probably because I'm listening to music as well. I always chill out when I'm listening to music. Yeah, I don't give any of my mods out because some of them are private as well, so... I'm driving a Scania T cab, buddy. The only downside is every time you go in the red spanner, you've got to come back out and sort these out again. It's annoying. Uh, Buckley, not a problem, bud. Not a problem, mate. Great looking truck. Yeah, we've got a few trucks now. Yeah, we've got a few, man. Yeah, it'd get much better. It's quite black, but to be honest, with the muscle pain that I've been having at the moment, uh, through just generally not being great, uh, I've set that many painkillers and that. It, I, I haven't really noticed it that much, to be honest. Uh, no, this is an older wheel. This, it's actually, it's actually the hub. That's all. Uh, you, you can bought whatever wheel you want on. Keyboard stand. It's a Simlabs one. So, yeah, it's really nice. It's definitely a must, like... Right, can you get anything prescribed? Yes, yeah. Yeah, there's a few different uh, muscle relaxants and things. Hey Johnny, how's it going? No texting and driving. Well, that was a big lag spike. Jesus. I'm not, I've never been down here before, you know. It's laggy down here. See if it carries on or not. Y yeah, I have, mate, yeah. Uh, Mass and cheers for that, buddy. 
I'm off race and catch it tomorrow. Have a good one, buddy. Yeah, have a good one. Trying to work out which lane I need to be in, man. Oh, big crash. Big crash. Hey, Tony, how you doing? Having fun tonight in the big truck. I am, mate, yeah, really good. Hey, what kind of USB port are you using for all your USBs? <laughs> uh, is it some 2.1, 3.1? Pretty much all threes. So I've got a seven port three powered hub down there from Anchor. I've got another 10 port Anchor hub behind this monitor and then all the USBs in the computer. So I think there's about 30 USBs used all together. <laughs> yeah, no idiots allowed man, exactly. One of the hard things I was, someone was asking us the other day about getting a GoPro and all that set up. One of the hardest things is learning not to move your head around all the time. Don't get me wrong, I'm still quite bad for it, but if you go and watch someone that's like quite new with a GoPro, you'll see how much the like twitch and all that and like move around all the time, like really jerky as well. It's really, the GoPro is like, it's, 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 there's a right knack to it like, I haven't done much cable management at the moment. The rig this one's to do, the one behind me I've done, I used the cable box and I put it behind the centre monitor. You might be able to see actually, hang on. Yeah, so you might be able to see, if you look at that rig, that's all cable managed, like there's pretty much nothing on it, you know. It's, uh, see the big box behind the fourth monitor? It's super clean as well. I'll do a walk around one day with it, you know. Well, the thing is, Dean, I used to be, though, that's the thing, like, the, you only notice how much you move your head when you stick a bloody GoPro on it, you know. Busy down here, man. Hi, right, Dave. Pick his nose and that. <laughs> Uh, that rig behind's only using a 7 port and a 4 port, both USB 3's. It hasn't got that much on it though, it hasn't got like stuff like this, handbrakes, button boxes, it hasn't got any of that on it yet. I'll, I'll add another 7 to it I would imagine. Been wearing them gloves today, and my hands do feel a bit better. Ah, has he? Uh, you mean uh, ah, Dave? I got about Dave. Uh, can't remember what his second name is now, but yeah. Tony, I don't think I have, mate, to be honest, no. Hey, Todd, you're doing good, man. I used to use a rush hour mod, but I don't bother that much now. Uh, Tony, I'm not, no, I, c I can't drive in real life at all, uh, legally.
Yeah, he's got 1.5k subs, gets like 70 in live streams. Oh, nice. Oh, good for him, man. That's been a long slog for him. I've been very lucky, as I say. I couldn't imagine if you were trying to make a big channel. Uh, I, I can imagine that being hard. I've been super lucky where I've just been able to be myself and just game, you know. As, you know, I haven't even got a bloody intro, man. I've got 130, ne nearly 130k subs, but I haven't even got an intro. It's slightly embarrassing. But then I'm like, I just like gaming, like, you know. It's bad enough doing all the sponsored stuff, like, you know, messaging folk and stuff like that, so. It's a bit flat over here, the colour, isn't it? It's not that bonny over here. I think we'll go, I think we'll go back over to Finland, I reckon. I might actually just go to Poland, Poland's nice. Uh, Danny, I mean, realistically, I couldn't, I just, I live too far away from my dad, I never see him, you know, I only see my dad once every six months or so, so. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could use it, man, honestly. Ah, I must admit, the last time I was in his, his channel was super quiet, like, so, it's really, I mean, I have 70 watching, it's, it's really nice. I mean, I think some of my streams I struggle to get 70 and I think, I never really look anymore, to be honest, I just game and just enjoy myself, you know. I think if you focused on, like, if you had a certain number in your head you wanted watching and you didn't get that amount, it would do your head in all the time. You'd be like, oh, I need to do more, I need to advertise all this, but I don't even do that, to be fair. Oh, she's nice. Oh, I need to catch him, man. Oh, sorry, I need to pull down in front of someone. I need to get up beside of him, man. Hey, Dave. Dave, look. Look, Dave. Look at that, Dave, man. <laughs> no, she hasn't got any heels on, man. If you're going to do a nice 40, man, you need heels on. What size are the screens? Uh The screens are 27s, mate, yeah. 27s. I <laughs> got you there, Todd, yeah. Is it true SES is putting traffic in multiplayer? I don't think it's SES, but yes. I think there is going to be a traffic server eventually, yeah. Let's hope the missus. Nah, she's fast asleep, man. 100%. <laughs> 100 there. Yeah, see, in about a week or two, I'm going to be pulling this rig apart uh, before firefighter and all that comes down to get to get it done. And that, because I'm pulling it apart, that's why I'm tempted to try and do the ceiling while I'm on because I'm going to have all the screens down and then I could ac actually get up to the ceiling, you see. So, let's see how it goes. But I'm, I, I, I spoke to William Twinkham and he said his friends into like a lot of music and that and he, he has a form and it does work. So, I'm hoping it does take away some of the echo. I'm never going to kill it all together and I, I don't intend to, but this is the room I'm going to be in for the next five or ten years, so I'd rather get it right straight out the door.
Hey, Jeff Treatbeck. Yeah, I mean, I do plan on doing some VR content, definitely, on the set of Corsa. But once my handbrake broke and, I, and my hands were bloody knackered and then my hub broke, so I couldn't use this wheel, you know? So, you don't know an echo now, but once I put the form up, you, you will see a difference, like, because the room's so bare. There's no furniture in, there's no bed, there's no couch, there's no carpet, there's nothing. So, it's all noise deadening, you know. Now, oh, you'll definitely notice a difference once I do it. And it won't take that long to do, like, I found some really good adhesive as well. I'm hoping to get it done before John and that comes up, John and Firefighter and that, but we'll, we'll just see. I'd like to have the room done for when they come up, like, it doesn't need much. Oh no, I drift, I'll definitely be back, honestly. 100% mate, yeah. Uh, the man gamer. No, I've been trying to do some 11 to 1 streams, so. Which I've actually been really enjoying, man. Everyone's so nice. <laughs> that's it, Todd, man, that's it. Ah, see you later, Tony. Have a good one. Yeah, we've got a, got 130k's left on this, and, and then we'll go and grab another one in, uh, in the Poland, I think. I'm going to head over to Poland. Either that, I might go back to the UK for a bit, actually. Not spend much time in the UK, have we? Hiya Michael, how are you doing buddy? Hope you're well mate. <laughs> not, not, not at the moment mate, I'm just being flat out. What, what's been annoying me lately is just not getting that much streaming done, but with my health, it's just doing me head in. Going back a couple of years, I don't even know how I got out of bed. The amount of pain that I've been in, it's been unreal. And now I'm really happy with the way everything's starting to tie in now as well. And yeah, it's good starting to see the end with the room as well because there's still stuff to do like so yes they are yes, a 27 inch yep 27s absolutely love them absolutely I would never I would say I would never change them but un unless I got like a sponsorship or something with someone like Asa or BenQ other than that I would never change them like and, and I'll tell you what when I can turn the graphics up on that thing, that monitor is absolutely stunning. I love that thing. What time is it where I live? It is half past twelve, buddy. I was a little bit late on today, like, so I don't mind. I might, might stay on a little bit, we'll see. Don't want to be up too late, though, because obviously I could be going out with Glenn tomorrow. So I might not actually be on tomorrow, so... I'll be on tomorrow night though, therefore. I love that power supply. <laughs> PC is absolutely unreal. I could sit and stare at that all day. How good does it look though? How good do my screens look when I look up? <laughs> right, honestly though, Mark, if you ever need any help writing out emails. I know, mate. I know. I just worry about relying on people, you know. Uh, the 40 screen, well, I had a set of 40s. Uh, and then my dad's broke and I was in the middle of moving so I gave them ones to my dad 
and then a long time follower slash subscriber helped me out and got me some uh, more 40s and I really regret it because I feel like if I could ever talk to the bloke I would definitely give him an apology uh, but I've ended up selling them they're, they're, they're in the garage at the moment for sale and I went with these monitors but to be honest you know the monitors are just so much better like from a reflection point of view and that I mean you can just stream with the big lights on you can even see you see my hand in that TV so you can see my hand and all that whereas the monitors you can't you know, can't see any reflections at all so make sure it, oh mate it's a beautiful looking rig that like I keep looking at the glass on it and thinking oh I should, I should get the glass for the other one you know but hi Andrew how are you doing buddy hope you're well mate You were looking at the top monitor. <laughs> You've done well for yourself, Mark. Yeah, hey, Caleb, thank you for that, buddy. I appreciate it. I mean, it's everyone else, to be fair, as well, you know. Certainly couldn't have done it uh, without anyone else. Uh, this this one is a, a i7-8700K with... Uh, what, what's, what's in it? I can't remember. Uh, got a 1080 Ti and 32 gig of RAM and then the one behind me running the Evo uh, rig is got a 1080 in it with an i7 uh, 7700k so and I think there's an i5 running in that one with a 970 16 gig of RAM that RAM is beautiful in that thing man uh, Tony I don't think I'll stream the teardown no, because what I'm going to do is it, this rig's going to be out of action for about a week I think there's a good few jobs that I really want to get done so and I'm just going to stream off the other one so pro mods <laughs> just about to say it, it's gone Right, can you try and explain why you only use from Steam Workshop and not anywhere else? I don't, I do use both. <laughs> Daddy, how are you doing? There it is. Oh yeah, force feedback in race rooms, phenomenal mate, yeah, love it. Right, uh, I'm after one myself. Yeah, that's the thing, I mean, the one behind me, uh, that was, th th the one behind me is more of a standard spec. So see that one on the wall, that one's more like what most people would be running, you know. Uh, and that's that's got a 1080 Strix in it with a i7-77 and it's beautiful uh, I just I can't wait to get the new uh, the new seat on that rig man and I need to finish that cupboard I really need to finish that cupboard and it won't even cost that much that's the thing you'll be looking about bloody about 300 quid I think to do the ceiling get that cupboard sorted uh, and any other little bits in the room so I think when I added it up that's what it was, so keep up the great work mate. Ah, oh, cheers bud. Thank you Josh, greatly appreciated. I certainly will mate. Right, can you still see the chat in VR? Yes, yeah, you can. It's not great at the moment though. <laughs> Right, what FOV am I using in the truck? So I don't use the actual FOV in in Euro truck. I use the one in the config file. So 
I'm running 62. But what, what I mean is this FOV here. So if you see, um, yeah, if you see that FOV slider, the one at the bottom where it says FOV 77, that doesn't work for me because I've got it, I'm using multi mode. So that doesn't actually work, that does nothing. So it, that's because I'm using multi mode. Oh, that's it, mate. Yeah, just waiting for the new seat to turn up. The new seat is nice, like. Yeah, the new the new seat's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'll show you. Don't know if I've actually got a picture of it. Ah, oh, there it is. Right, so that is the new seat. Not for this rig, but for the rig behind me. So, yeah, really, really uh, can't wait, man. Super nice. Right, silver plate, oh mate, it's bloody taking forever. I'm not, they haven't even verified me yet. Yes, I'm, go, I'm going blue on that rig, so... I've actually I've put a load of blue parts in that computer as well. So... This corner's going to be red, that one's going to be blue. Right, sim racing hardware button box panels are on their way, nice. Uh, so we bought them, can't wait, trucking and racing going to be awesome. Next goal is a large monitor or VR, nice. Nice mate, good for you buddy. I think it will look good, yeah. Something a little bit different, you know, instead of trying to have the same colours, it's going to crash again, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, there's so many colours in the wall, you know, and they look awesome. Like, I, I love the walls, so... Yeah, see, I've got red braided cables in this one, and I've got blue and white in the other one. Got a few different blue parts in it, it looks really nice. I have Echo truck dealer, don't need that. Ah, that's, is that where we're going? <laughs> I'm going to go and take the 143 out to Scotland next, I think. Oh, nice, mate. Yeah, I went blue and white, actually. But, yeah, can't wait for the seat to come. And this, this big button box, this one's going on that rig as well, so... Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really look nice. The only thing that's going to come a problem eventually, once the room's fully finished, is eventually I'm going to need another one of these, I think. Because when Hutchie's wanting to drift and all that, he's wanting to bring his own wheel over to use. And I don't—I only have one hub. Uh, so eventually, I think I'll just pick another hub up. Well, I'm kind of hoping I can land some sort of deal with Fnatic. That would save it, man. Yeah, well, I'm going to start trying to use both rigs a bit more as well, you know. Instead of just sitting in this one all day, why not use the other one as well, you know. Have one more set up as a full on race rig like this one and then have the other one set up as a bit of everything, you know.
Right, so you're going to get a rainbow coloured seat for the desk, I know. <laughs> you're right there, man. Yeah, a few times I have, Dean. I've never actually contacted me back either. And Jimmy Broadbent tried to help me get in contact with him as well, so... Not good frame rate here, Jesus. That was 17 frames, man. Get me out of France. <laughs> Only getting 17 frames there, man. Jesus. Uh, it depends, because some companies aren't interested in numbers, you know, but... Obviously, companies are interested in advertisement, obviously, but I will not advertise something that is not good. If something's like a joint to the community and can help out other people and it's good, you know, then fantastic. But if it's crap, I won't push it like I just won't. Whereas there's people out there, if they offer something for free, they'll just sell it, they'll just say it's good. And I just, I couldn't. Hello, Mr. Nathan. How are you doing, pal? Yeah, doing good, mate. Doing good. Just just chilling, really. Just enjoying ourselves. It's going really, really well. Right, we're back off to the UK. I don't know where to go, actually. Should we start in London? London's a bit mad now, like. I don't have a garage in London. So where have I been in the UK, then? Oh, nowhere. Right, we'll go there and we'll get some little jobs and work our way around. Yeah, doing spot on, mate. Absolutely spot on. Going really well. Hey Alex mate, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Right, uh, we're half three in the morning, so we can just get a job straight from here really, I'll just stick my lights on. Come on mod, sort yourselves out man. Yeah, I know, mate. I know. I've sorted it. If you can, uh, if you can just unban the people that he's banned, would be uh, greatly appreciated. That's not bad, though. Out of all the mods I've got, he's the sec third mod, I think. Third mod that I've had to ban out of like a hundred, I think. <laughs> so it's not bad when you think about it. Yeah, he's gone, mate. There's no need to worry. No need to talk about it. I've sorted it. If uh, Dean can just unsort the people that uh, that he's banned would be greatly appreciated. And then we can move on. Oh, that's a nice job. Ah, uh, we'll take that. Ah, okay, Scottish guy, you take it easy, mate. Yeah, it happens, mate. As I say, you think how many mods I've got, and that's the third one that I've had to get demod. And one of them actually asked me to demod him, so. Alright, 
Right, this thing needs fuel desperately, man. Oh, it's going really good. Yeah, loving the new house, mate. Absolutely loving it. Yeah, but as I say, if you think about it, that lad's been a mod for like well over a year, never been a problem, so at the end of the day, it's, you know, he'll, he'll have friends over or something, you know, and he'll just be having a laugh, but it's still not bad, if people complain about mods all the time, but it's, it's just not bad at all, you just don't get that much bother from them, so... Uh, not a problem, Alex, mate. These things happen, buddy, but I, I can't leave you being a mod like that, unfortunately. It's one of them things. I'll keep you in mind if I ever need more mods again, buddy. Ah, cheers, Darko. Much appreciated. Got no snow at all, mate, no. None at all. Right, I'll tell you what I def definitely need, and we need to get fuel. I've got no fuel in this thing at all. Out we go. Hey Spencer, uh, you can mate. Yeah, Alex, mate, not a problem, buddy. So, uh, again, it's my channel, mate. I can't not get rid of you, unfortunately, but you're more than welcome to uh, stay in, you know? So... Ah, 500 to go, mate. Eh? I'm just enjoying getting a few jobs in tonight, actually. It's gone, gone really good. Uh, it doesn't bother me which side of the road. Doesn't bother me at all. Lincoln Park, eh? Bloody hell. Not listening to them for like 10 years. No, I'm listening to music, mate. I've got headphones in on top of my headphones. Oh, I'm listening to bloody... There's all sorts on here, man. <laughs> My wife's just got all sorts. Yeah, so I've got underneath my headphone, I've got a wireless earbud, uh, as you can see. So, in my actual headphones.
Oh, this thing sounds insane. So good. Haha, <laughs> Nathan, yeah. Oh, listen to out me, mate. Absolutely out. Just discovered your channel. You seem like a really sound blog. Keep up the trucking. Cheers, Liam. Greatly appreciate it, man. Oh, nice truck. That thing looks nice, don't it? We're doing all right here. Sorry, Mr. Volvo. I'm not going to any truck shows this year, I wouldn't say. The cl probably the best one to go to would be Peterborough now. Edinburgh's just too far away. So, I would love to. It's just, uh, I can't go on my own and I can't go on public transport on my own either. So, you never know. We'll see. I, I would love to go though. I really enjoyed last year, it was fantastic. I've had for like four sets. One I lost one, but another had terrible sound and battery life. So I currently have don't rely, use only if. I mean, I've had these for three, four months. Use them every day, all the time. Never had an issue. Ah, fuel. I would love to go, it's just, you know, yeah. Trucks do I like the most, Scania's mate. Yeah, I'm a big Scania fan. Oh, nice, nice Nathan, yeah. Can't wait to hear how you get on, mate. Yeah, I got you there, Andrew, yeah. The sky looks beautiful, doesn't it? I don't know why I'm losing frames a little bit, but there, uh, bollocks, who cares? I think I'm about five hours from Peterborough. It's not too bad, like. If I, if I could get someone to go with, I would go. But I'm a fair trek. My wife would take us, like, if I asked her, but she's not into trucks, you know, so. We'll see. She's doing a first Euro truck stream this week with me, so. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> drive halfway down. I know. I don't really love eye records. <laughs> yep, it'll be a one time only thing I think. <laughs> I'll have a look at the dates and if I would take you in the car. Oh definitely. Oh I don't care man. Yeah, definitely, buddy. Right, I found your channel a month back. Really have been enjoying your work. Oh, cheers, pal. Much appreciated, mate. Yeah, I, I, I do do my best in that way. That's, yeah. That That's the plan. That That's what I was going to do if I stayed up at Glasgow, was to have... Uh, yeah, to ah, uh, 
that was the plan. I was going to take a rig and have a stall, sell a bit of merch and have a rig so everyone can have a go on the Euro truck and what not, you know, but we're moving and all that. That's been pushed back now, like, <laughs> we'll see. You never know. Never say never. Uh, offer Emma to go shop. No, she's not a big shopping, like. I'm not sure you would get a rig in my car like <laughs> no no I would get a van and that and a trailer if, if that was the case so me and Emma are planning on getting a van eventually that was our kind of plan you know like a an old Mercedes Sprinter or something uh, in the next couple of years turn it into a camper van you know for me Emma and the dogs and then uh, once we got the van Emma's give the go-ahead to get a drift car so that's kind of my next five-year plan get a van sorted and then get a drift car sorted and then as I say I would love to start doing truck shows or something just so I could meet people to be honest <laughs> it'd just be nice to meet people and tell everyone where I am what stall I'm at and stuff like that you know all right I've got a storage garage Yeah, yeah, I'm quite lucky here, like. Well, that was kind of the plan, and then if we if we were going travelling anyway, having a rig and a stall and that in a trailer on the back of the van, we, we you know we could tour different places as well, so. I know, Dean, I know. It's just something we fancy doing, you know. How many wheels? Uh, I mean, if you're talking about rims, I've got about six or seven different rims for this hub. And then I've got another four wheels on top of that, so. Hey, Storm, how are you doing? I love the setup. How long have you been playing driving sims? Keep it up. Uh, about five years, buddy, yeah. Right, my mate's halfway through converting it. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm not going to be on that, you know, <laughs> not on that uh, limit, but. I can imagine next, mate. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, this, one, this one's a lot of people's favourites. This is a Momo one. There's one red one left that I would nearly bought. It's really, really nice. It's got all the red stitching and all that. But it's like 45 quid and I was like, nah, I was so tempted. Cause I wanna put, I wanna, this, Hutchie wants to use this one on the other rig, you see. Yeah, BM's nice as well. I've got, I've got loads of nice rims. Where are we going? Good question, I can't remember. We are going to a Wexford. Wexford's where we're going. We've got 21 tons of lumber on the board, and we set off from Birmingham, I think. Uh, the graphics look great. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. I do, I do try my best. It's <laughs> streaming like this is not the easiest way, to be honest. Ah, I got you there, Andrew, yeah. He's, ah, right, I can't remember. Hutchie used to get his car tuned in Peterborough, and uh, I'm pretty sure it was like a five-hour trek, like, but I, I could be wrong, because Birmingham's three hours away, so from, from the northeast, anyway. Uh, Storm, no, go and watch the health video, mate. I don't want to talk about my health at all, you know, every stream. There's a video in the description, but... 
I don't want to chat about it all the time. I'm just, this is my spare time, you know, I just want to feel normal. Instead of talking about my problems all the time. Yeah, no bother, mate, no bother. Great idea, I think that will go down well. Had a racing car one. Ah, got you. It's just a plan, you know, Emma really wants me to get a drift car. So if I'm going to get a drift car, I will need a trailer and a, car and, a and a van anyway. So, so yeah, she she really wants me to go drifting, like real life drifting, you know. So I would love to, you know. It'd be awesome. Right, where else are we? Ah, right, okay, Dean, yeah. Uh, yes, I do storm, yeah, four times a week, yeah. Uh, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is at 8 o'clock, and Saturdays are at 11 o'clock. If you go on the Facebook uh, group or page in the description, you can... Uh, find all the details pinned in them. Struck man. Alright, the best part of working for the uh... <laughs> Oh yeah, I can imagine. I know. Alright, just as my screens have come beautiful, I'm gonna call it a day there because we're quite a bit on tomorrow so. Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing any stream, daytime streams tomorrow. Uh, I've got to wait and see what Glenn wants to do about... Uh, yeah, I've got to see what Glenn wants to do about going out, so... There we go. Jobs are good. Excellent. Right, Manic Gaming. Yeah. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow. So, where was the truck fest? Oh, Peterborough. Yeah, Peterborough, if I could. Yeah, I'll let you know anyway how uh, tomorrow goes because I need to charge up the GoPro and oh, loads of stuff to do. So, uh, Glenn. Glenn's going to be there for three o'clock, so hopefully I'll, I'll know enough to get some streamings done, you know, so, but, anyway, thank you for a cracking day, had a really good day today, it's been awesome, and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow, so, have a good one, take it easy, and see you all tomorrow.